Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpaths. In the last one video, we discussed about that how we can create a toolpath for the entire part for one component where we create different kind of toolpaths with the help of left spindle and the right spindle turning as well as the milling with the help of upper stream as well as the lower stream. And here is one more component in which we create a multiple kind of tool paths that how we can create the tool path and what are the steps. For this one component as you can see first I would like to show you the component from the both of side this is have a look from this one side of my component and this is the second half of my component. So I hope you guys get idea and understand about that how my component is looking like right at here and after that the next step is first in this video I will create a complete part with the help of left spindle and the right spindle with the help of upper stream and the lower turret or we can say the lower stream and you will get a complete idea about that how you can create the tool different kind of tool path like as a turning tool path different kind of milling tool path as well as that some few of the multi multi access tool path so in this first this is my first video where I would like to show you the simulation of my part that how it is going to be simulate what are the different kind of steps and the process that we follow to complete that one part and after that we will create video step by step that how we can create a different kind of tool paths to complete programming of my component. So before we starting to that one if you are new to our channel first go and watch our first video. Or you can also learn all about the master cam like as a lathe programming, milling programming, multi-axis programming. Already we create the multiple number of videos on each and every single topic on our YouTube channel. Go and watch. If you need our model files, please go and join our YouTube channel where you can get access on all model files and I can share with you. So let me start from this one video. First we have to start to simulate that one component. So once I play this, this one simulation, so what is the main thing when we are creating that one component? We start to cut that one component from the lower stream and the, at the initial position or at the initial level. My part is now this time on the right hand spindle. So how we can set up all these things that how we can set up our component in the starting level on the right side. First I start with the lower stream. And the second tool path that is started with the help of the upper stream. So first tool path successfully finished that is called a facing tool path and after that this is my second tool path came with from the upper stream. So I would like to increase my speed little bit. Have a look. So now if that's and this one put time that is starting to cut the tool path that is known as a roughing tool path. So have successfully completed the roughing tool path after completing of the roughing tool path my tool is again going on initial position. It's take this reference position and after that my lower stream is came here to cut my next tool path. Now have a look this is my finishing tool path with the help of a lower stream. Now the lower stream successfully completed and after that once again my upper stream go to the tool change. For the tool changing position here is the tool posi changing position and it came with the new tool changing the direction of B axis. This is called uh, and once it's changed the axis direction then again start to cut on the right spindle. Now have a look. My right spindle is continuously and we can also say that is the C axis is consistently rotating as per the required angle and with this one my spindle is also moving up and down as per the required. X and Y axis is consistently rotating. So now have a look once that is done after that it's going to cut internal portion of my component or I can say internal portion of my part once that is successfully done after that I start to cut the initial level or internal part with the help of a helix board. Once it done a helix board programming have a 
have a look once my helix board program successfully completed after that my next tool path is I start I created that one tool path with the help of multi-axis morph tool path have a look what it is going to done first it's cut the roughing portion or a roughing area of my that one part I would like to show you with the slow motion have a look first pass that is second pass third pass fourth pass fifth pass and then the next one is sixth pass now have a look similarly it's cutting the all the portions of my that one component where there are different kind of profile at the six number of several number of positions so that same tool path is we are using and that tool path we multiply on a different positions with the help of a utility so when we create this tool path i would like to show you what are the important factor or the important thing that we have to cover during the utility or rotation of my tool path i would like to increase the speed little bit high once that is going to be completed again tool is going on a reference positions once it take the reference position same my tool is came near to my part for completed my finishing tool path for same on this one area now have a look this is my finishing tool path once my finishing tool path completed at the one area it's going to going for the next one area and similarly step by step counting with like that kind of step or that kind of process it's completed on the all different positions one by one that is first on the second on the third on the fourth as well as at the end now have a look that is successfully done or we create all tool path on a right hand spindle now my tool uh, part transfer process is getting to be start for the part transfer first my turret is came on a reference position or a safe position for the left side once that successfully completed after that <coughs> my both spindle have to be synchronizations get into the synchronization position and once that is going to be at the synchronization position after that my right hand turret came to this one position and that will give my part to the left left side spindle so let we have to find now have a look my right hand spindle came to this one position holding my pice open my jaw for the right hand spindle and left hand spindle hold my workpiece and it's going on the initial position now have a look once that successfully completed after that what we can do we can start to work on the left hand side so this is my first tool path once i completed the my first tool path with the help of the rover stream again my next tool path is start to work from with the help of the upper stream this is turning tool path and i would like to increase my speed little in high once this tool path is getting to be successfully completed after that there is a new tool path that is came from the opposite side once that is successfully completed after that i am going to make the finishing tool path with the help of upper stream and once my upper with the help of upper stream 
my milling toolpath successfully completed after that we can start the multi-axis roughing toolpath and have a look this is so beautiful so smooth toolpath that we control the my tool angle on the multiple positions we control that tool have not to be going more than this one angle and multiple different kind of things that we are controlling with the on this one tool path so that is also a mastercam multi-axis tool path on a milton machine so i hope you guys get idea or some guide understanding about that how we can create a multi-axis tool path on a milton machine so there are different kind of tool path with step by step learning so that is the simulations for the mastercam multi-axis tool path on that one component now have a look this is a beautiful path beautiful way and all these things set in a perfect format and a perfect way so if you have any question or doubt you can go and comment on our video step step by step we will show you that how we can create tool path like that kind of and you will you can learn all about the milton format that what are the different kind of tool path we have to create on this one position and what are the steps to do so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you understand all about mastercam milton format and in the next video i would like to show you how we can set up my component or how we can set up the raw material and all these things on the right hand side turret or i sorry we can say the right hand side spindle and what are the steps to create the, all the rough turning operations on a right hand spindle after that we step by step create all these tool path on the exercise number second so that's all about Milton we will learn step by step all these things so you can watch this video in a proper way to get understand about that what are the steps what are the things that we have to perform right at here so once again I would like to say thank you everyone for watching this one video this is my complete full path part that I created on the Milton machine so that's the all about Milton and once again I would like to told you if you are new on this channel or if you want the model files for the lathe milling or multi axis or Milton you can go and join our mastercam multi axis from your youtube channel and you can get access for of our all model files so keep learning keep growing